噔噔噔噔噔噔噔噔噔噔噔噔噔。Happy May the Fourth. May the Fourth. May the Fourth be with you. It is Star Wars Day. Star Wars Day. My name is Alexandria. This is Michael, and today we're making popcorn. Welcome to the full measure. In honor of one of the biggest blockbuster movies of all time, we thought it would be fun to make some popcorn. So today we're making popcorn. If you haven't seen our show before, we make a recipe two different ways. We do one way that's pretty simple, and then another way that's a little more involved or a little more complicated. And then we tell you whether it was worth the time and effort to do the more complicated one. Something I want to try out for today's episode is actually on the simple recipe. In the past, we've done stuff like biscuits out of a can or Kraft Blue Box mac and cheese. I think what I want to do is alter the show just a little bit. I'd like to find a way to make the simple recipe as good as we can without putting in a ton of effort. We're gonna call that one the half measure. Makes, makes some sense, right? Uh, and then the one where we go all out and usually from scratch, that'll be called the full measure. Hey, that's the name of the show. So we'll be comparing the half measure recipe to the full measure recipe. Obviously anybody can pop microwave popcorn, but today we're also going to create some toppings out of some of your favorite chips that you can sprinkle on top of the popcorn. Um, which should be really fun. The other way we'll do it is like the totally old school way with just some corn kernels and a little bit of oil right on the stove. And I have like a really nice gourmet version, a couple different like gourmet versions of the popcorn. The last thing I wanna try for the more complicated recipes is something I've never tried before, but I thought of last night. If you're curious as to what that is, make sure you watch all the way through the second recipe and we can kind of experiment and try that together and see if it works. Should we make some popcorn? Do it. You go get the movie started, I'll make some popcorn. I'll watch Star Wars. Just kidding, I have stuff I have to do. <laughs> Let's make some popcorn. Uh, okay. The half measure recipe starts with a bag of microwave popcorn. I'm assuming most everyone's familiar with how to make it this way. Let's get a bag popped and start to add our chip flavors. Which flavors, you ask? How about some of these staples? These are the ones I chose to try out, but you could really use any chip flavor you'd like. We are basically trying to turn these chips into a powder. The easiest way to do that is with a coffee grinder. This is one that I have that I never use for coffee, only spices and now chips, I guess. Give the chips a whirl in there until it's a fine powder. You'll have to work in batches because the bowl is very small. The chips may also become a little pasty as they have a lot of oil, but it breaks up as soon as you dump it out. Don't have a spare coffee grinder? A mortar and pestle works just as well. It does take some time and it also feels a little ridiculous considering these are used to make some of the most delicious and ancient foods known to man. And I'm using it to crunch up Cool Ranch Doritos, but this show is not about judgment. Don't have a mortar and pestle? Throw those chips in a little Ziploc. Cover with a kitchen towel and use a rolling pin to pulverize those little guys. Don't have a rolling pin? Actually, that's enough. I gave three options. We're putting chips on popcorn. This doesn't need to be any more in depth. Using any of these methods will work, and all we're looking for is to reduce the chips to dust. You could put that dust into a shaker, but I don't have one, so I just put a little piece of foil over a ball jar and poke some holes in there. This just became a DIY channel. Use the chip dust to season your popcorn. You may want to keep this little shaker nearby and just add to the bowl as you eat. This isn't a great way to completely coat the popcorn, but it does work. Let's give it a taste. Um, I took out the Funyun and the sour cream and onion because I tried them off camera and they either didn't taste like much or were just kind of like whatever. But let's actually, let's start on the Cheeto. Okay. Let's see what that tastes like. So I don't like the Cheeto one that much, which is surprising because I thought that would be my favorite. I would say if you want to make cheese popcorn at home, like to get like some cheese powder or yeah. we have, this is some like flavor salt, like popcorn seasoning that you can just throw on top of your popcorn. This is actually really good if you just want some like cheddar flavored popcorn. Dorito, the Dorito one? Yeah, but which one? The nacho one? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, that's good. It's fun though, right? That's good. I like that. All right, let's try this one. That one's unmistakable. <laughs> cool Ranch. Is it Cool Ranch or Cooler Ranch? Oh, there is a Cooler Ranch. I bet it's just like more. More Ranch dust. <laughs> Hands down, the my favorite. Yeah, that one's really good. For the most part, these just taste like what you are normally used to with. Right, it's not like the heavy, dense flavor of the chip itself. It, it is just kind of like. And they all do that thing, like that microwave popcorn. Yeah, that like, <laughs> what did you call it? The, the slick mouth. Slick mouth, they give you the slick mouth. <laughs> yeah. Like if you have just kind of like a 
a little bit left at the bottom of the chip bag or something. Oh yeah, yeah, And that's a good idea. You know, you're either gonna like shotgun it <laughs> or you're gonna toss it and you know, why not just, just crunch them up. utilize it? Yeah, that's fun. That's a really good Make idea. Yourself a, a cool, cool snack. So we talked about the chip ones. Let's make a... Uh, oh, fancy. The fancy, it's gonna be fancy. All right. These are the ingredients we'll need to make our base popcorn. This is the popcorn we will use as a foundation to make variations. A lot of popcorn recipes call for vegetable or other neutral flavored oils. I chose to go with corn oil just to reinforce a little of the corn flavor, but any neutral oil works. Put two tablespoons of corn oil, a quarter teaspoon of fine kosher or sea salt, and two ounces of popcorn kernels in a four to six quart bowl. Cover the bowl with aluminum foil and poke several holes in the top to vent the steam. I like to give a quick shimmy to distribute all of the oil and salt over the kernels before we put it on the heat. Place the bowl over medium to medium high heat. It's important to keep this bowl moving the entire time. The goal is to keep the oil and the kernels moving so they don't burn. Make sure to use a towel or something to protect your hand because the bowl will get very hot and steam will also be escaping from the sides. You'll hear the oil start to sizzle and see some steam from your vents after about a minute. Keep moving until you hear a few kernels begin to pop. Once the popping starts, move your bowl much more quickly. You wanna get the popped kernels moving up the sides of the bowl so they don't burn. The popping starts slow but gets very rapid very quickly. Most of it'll happen in about 30 seconds and it'll slow just as quickly. Once it begins to slow, remove the bowl from the heat. Place the finished popcorn in a separate bowl and pour your two tablespoons of melted butter over everything. At this point, it's ready to go. This is really great popcorn as is. It just tastes very different than the microwave stuff. The really nice part is, if you're making it yourself, you can add all kinds of different flavors into the mix. The one that a lot of people search for is movie theater popcorn. The base recipe has butter in it, but it does not taste like movie theater popcorn. You wanna know why that is? Because movie theater popcorn doesn't taste like butter. It tastes like butter flavor. An important distinction, but I happen to know the secret because a friend of mine owns an independent movie theater and he spilled the beans or the popcorn, whatever. Flavacol. Sounds like a weird Soviet era chemical because it probably is, but this is butter flavored salt. It's not butter. This stuff is actually vegan. That's how different butter flavor is from actual butter. This is the secret to movie theater popcorn because this is the actual stuff used in movie theaters. All you have to do is swap the butter and salt from the base recipe with one quarter teaspoon of Flavacol and you have legitimate movie theater popcorn at home. You can buy this stuff on Amazon for all of $8 and it will legitimately last you for years. Wanna fancy up your movie night? Why not try some fancy ingredients in your popcorn? Use the regular popcorn base and then add these ingredients after it's popped. I like to use fresh thyme and rosemary along with some black pepper. Finally chop your herbs and toss in right after your butter and finish with some black pepper. Another crowd pleaser is to use garlic powder and finely grated Parmesan to make some very savory and upscale popcorn to eat while you wear your sweatpants. High class or no class, those are my only two speeds. Let's give Alexandria a bite of these last two fancy popping corns. Cool. This is rosemary, thyme, and black pepper. Ooh. Yeah. That smells nice. Tell me what you think. Oh! <laughs> oh, that's good. What's your, what's your first impression of that? Um, it doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't feel like popcorn, or it doesn't taste like popcorn. Because it tastes like? It tastes like a meal. Yeah, it eats like a whole it's meal. It's like a dinner popcorn. It's like. Uh, oh, I dropped a good one. Every time I make this, the second I have a first bite, it's like, Oh, that's Thanksgiving. Yeah. Like Thanksgiving popcorn. Hearty, robust. Look at you and all your vocab. Popcorn. <laughs> nice. The herbs are really strong. They're really forward. Yeah, but. They're good. That's fancy and nice. Here's the other one. I don't want to tell you what that one is. You can't put your finger is it on it. Like Parmesan? I'm so surprised that you got the Parmesan. It's, it's garlic Parmesan. Okay, yeah. But I'm the garlic is so loud in there that I would have thought for sure you thought garlic first. This is great. Yeah. I feel like if it was acceptable, I would just eat garlic <laughs> anyways, just by itself. This is a little more balanced. Than, this is really good. I think this is my favorite because I just love thyme so oh much. God. But this, you can still kind of taste the popcorn. Garlic good. Parmesan. <laughs> 
Ooh, oh, yeah. If you've stuck around long enough to see this recipe, you are in for a real treat. Thus far, we have added flavor to our popcorn by adding ingredients after it's popped. But what if we did something to add flavor while it's popping? What if instead of just neutral flavored oil, we used a chili oil? And not just any chili oil, but Chris Morocco's Chili Crisp. To make the chili crisp, start with one and a half cups of vegetable oil in a medium saucepan, adding four medium shallots sliced very thinly, two bulbs of garlic sliced very thinly, yes, whole bulbs, not two cloves, it comes out to about 15 to 20 cloves, maybe more, two cinnamon sticks, and six pods of star anise. Bring this mixture to a bear simmer over medium heat and cook for 20 to 25 minutes, swirling occasionally. Everything will be nice and brown by the end. You want this to happen very slowly so it cooks the moisture out. Once everything is nicely browned, strain the now crispy bits and reserve all of the oil. Let this completely cool in the strainer and the bits will become very crisp. To the reserved oil, add one quarter cup of dried chili flakes, two inches of very finely chopped ginger, two tablespoons of soy sauce, and two tablespoons of sugar and mix thoroughly. Let this steep until the shallots, garlic, and ginger are completely cool. When they are cool, remove the cinnamon and star anise and add back to the oil. This oil has an impressive amount of flavor, and we simply follow our base popcorn recipe and swap this oil for the corn oil. Two tablespoons will do the trick. When you're done popping, add a spoonful of the crispy bits to the bowl and serve. Obviously, this is a lot of work for a bowl of popcorn, but this chili oil should be thought of as a condiment, of which you now have a lot, which is a good thing. According to Chris, you can put it on everything, and I can attest to that. I've put it on eggs, fries, burgers, stir fry, pizza, literally anything. I really try to reserve the amount of hyperbole I use on this show. I think saying that food is the best thing I've ever had really diminishes the value of the statement, and sometimes you need to say it. I say all of that to contextualize the fact that I'm about to tell you that this makes the absolute best popcorn I have ever had. Like, it's not even close. It's sweet and spicy and the flavor is complex. The spice is assertive, but it's that kind of spice that makes you want to grab another handful just as you finish. But that said, let's give it a taste. Some chili, chili popcorn, chili crunch popcorn. That's a good bite. Okay. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. That's nice. Oh, that's super fun. I like those crunchy bits. Oh, the little the pieces of garlic and shallot. So cool to me that you can taste the garlic and you can taste the onion. And like, not because of the bits, but like just because of the oil that the There's popcorn was popped in. That's a good. Of all the popcorn that we made today, this is far and away the best, I think flavor-wise. That's really, really good. That's great. That's one of the best bites that I've had in a while. And it's just popcorn. The, the heat is really good. It's not, I like, we haven't had any water and I like stepping away from it for a second. I'm not like, oh my gosh, I'm It dies dying. down, it's quick, yeah. Um, those little crispy bits in there too, which is like, that's a different kind of crunch. Mm -hmm. The chances <laughs> that Chris watches this is zero, but if he watches this video, do you have anything you want to say to him? We love you. And we hope that you get to watch the Top Gun movie when it comes out. Oh yeah, he was so excited. We were so excited for you. I would say making popcorn at home, not out of the bag, is very simple. And if it's something you're at all interested in, it should not be intimidating. It's pretty simple. You can do it. You we can do it. In you. This is our chart of worthiness, where it measures how much effort you put into a recipe versus how much payoff you get. Adding the crushed up chips to the microwave popcorn definitely made it unique and fun. It wasn't that much work either. Making your own popcorn kind of leaves the door open. How much work do you want to put in? I would highly recommend making that chili crisp and popping your own kernels in that. It was literally the best popcorn I've ever had. If you just like to make popcorn on your stovetop at home, it's really pretty simple. It's not that much work and I actually think it might be faster than making popcorn in the microwave. Minus the fact that you'd have some cleanup, it's a pretty good payoff. Thank you very much for watching this video and thank you for watching our other videos as well. We've got a few other episodes you can check out. You can go to our channel and watch the entire playlist. We did decide to set a little goal for ourselves that once we get to a thousand subscribers, we are gonna do a ramen special. We'll make normal ramen and then we'll make ramen from scratch and do a whole episode on it. Look out for that. Hopefully that's coming in the near future. We'll see. I don't know how long it'll take us to get to a thousand, but that's our goal. Leave us a comment and let us know which one of these popcorn recipes you are the most excited to try. And then if you have any ideas about recipes that you'd like 
to see us try out, uh, leave those in the comments as well. If you do make any of these recipes or any of our other recipes, please tag us on Instagram at Full Measure Show. I'll put up, I'll put links in the description for that. We love to see the food that people are making uh, after watching our show. That's like the coolest thing ever. But thank you very much for watching and we'll see you on Friday. See ya. Scene. <laughs> this popcorn is so good. It's real good. Holy shit. What a cool treat.